How about we do this? Hear me out. Let's hold off on mm -hmm. the styling stuff. We don't really need that just yet. I would like to, yes, let's set up the dy not dynamic side of this or like the Apollo client side of this because I feel like that's like the base of everything and then we can figure out styling. Okay, sounds good. All right? Let's do All it. Right. Well, yeah, let's do it. So I guess for Apollo client, um, and this is a, a Gatsby project, so correct me if I'm wrong, but won't we want to essentially um, wrap our root component that gets built by Gatsby? Is that how we would do this? Yeah, that's the idea. So, I mean, um, because our app is only one one component right now, uh, yeah. essentially what we want to do is say, like, wrap this in an Apollo provider. And then we'll move it later. Is that what you're getting at? Uh, yeah, we could we could we could do that. Like we could just get get yeah. our Apollo configuration working here in our index.js yeah. file, and then um, and then put it in the right place uh, once we have it working. If you're cool with that, I love it. Let's do it. Okay, cool. Um, well, maybe a, maybe a good place to do unless unless you're unless you're ready to go freehand with this. Um, we can always refer to the wonderful Apollo docs for... No, yeah, we should definitely bring up the docs. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. I love docs. It would, it would be more a more accurate representation of how, how yeah. you know, somebody would bootstrap a site in, uh, in real life anyway, huh? Yes, this is very true. I live my life one set of docs at a time, by mm -hmm. the way. All right. Here we go. So you want to go through the tutorial? We're oh we're on Apollo uh, Basics. So let's go. Yeah. Let's go Apollo Apollo Client. Apollo Maybe. Client React because we're gonna use React. Yeah. Boom. Get started. You can switch to uh, the the version three in the. Oh the right. Yes. Cluster. Beta. B -b 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 beta. Great. Cool. All right. Paul client is complete state management library. Yes, it is. What's the, the and the, hey, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Um, well, we've already done Apollo. Oh, wait, that took oh, us to the wrong is, place. This is the wrong link. Oh, dude, we got to fix that. Actually, yeah. Um, do you want to, do you mind, do you mind doing this fix right here live on stream? Uh, no. Okay, here, it's gonna be easy. We can just click on edit on GitHub. Yeah. And go to edit, and let's scroll down to where that where that link takes place. Uh, right. Follow the quick start tutorial. Get started. Right. Is that where it was? Yeah. Yeah. And that's just taking you to slash get started. Um. Let's let's see. That's really interesting. I should. Oh wait, did I do checkout official? Let's let's see what I clicked on. No, I'm Follow sure. the yeah, quick start tutorial. That's really interesting. But uh, wait a minute, maybe I just have to switch the version because the default version is still 2.6. So let's try that. Let's see if well, I go here. No, and no, that, no. That's that that's uh, maybe that's something that's actually more broken than uh, uh then I think. Uh darn, that's uh that's, that's I don't know. Bad. Doesn't oh I see it took us back here. Yeah. Alright, well maybe it's not something we can fix right here live on stream. Um oh, man. but I'm gonna I'm gonna make a note of that because that definitely yeah. falls within my my realm of um you know, broken dock stuff. Uh yeah, yeah. And I know it exists because I just looked at this like the other day. Relative links on beta version, um, because no. the way that the way that it's built, that should that type of link should work. But yeah. In any case, let's let's why don't we just hop over to, we can we can get to get started from the left sidebar. Oh, okay. But oh oh from uh. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Get started. Well, uh, version three and then get started. Oh oops. Cool. Right, oh, there so, it is. This is what I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, uh, yeah, we already did this, no? We already installed Apollo Client. Yes. We had the so, had the foresight to, to do that. <laughs> yeah, and so now we just got to create a client. 
Oh, which is neat because now in 3.0 only requires one package, mm -hmm. which is yeah. pretty so pe pretty boss. for people who've uh, who've used Apollo in the past, you might know that we used to have to import multiple packages and and like we had a, a separate like uh, in memory cache um, po uh, package and a separate like HTTP link package and whatnot. Now it all just comes bundled with Apollo client. So that's wonderful. Okay. So we've got a client, but I just realized that we don't have a server. So hmm. what do you want to use for a, for like a, a dummy data source? Yeah, that's a good in the call. Meantime. Uh, well, in the meantime, we should just use the resolvers for right now. Sure. Can you I do mean, that? Well, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that that's one that's one option. I'm I'm thinking that maybe we just like pick a public GraphQL API. Oh, just sure. To, just, just to, to get like, it. proof of concept this. Like, let's let's just yeah. get Apollo working. I love it. Okay, so then yeah, let's do that. Um, let's use. Uh, well, we can use either. Don't you have a countries API? Yes, sir. We could just do yeah countries. Dot my name dot com. Yeah, I mean, if we have it, let's use it, right? Cool. Okay, so we have this. We got our client. Um, it's assigned a value but never used. This is very true um, because we need Apollo provider as well, right? I guess I should go back mm. to the docs. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, yeah, but if where's... Can, if you can freestyle it, then... Yeah, I could freestyle probably... it because there's no... I don't see the part on... I think it's um, probably just just uh, just beyond in the next section. Connect your client to React. Oh, got it. That makes sense. Ah, there we go. Okay, but regardless, we got this. So let's go mm -hmm. back and do it. Yeah. So we need Apollo provider, and then we're not going to return this anymore. Oops. Apollo provider, and that's going to get a client. Client of client. Um, oops, here we go. Uh, take you out. Put you here. Okay. Awesome. Now we have a, a provider, and I think we're ready to make a query. Yes, indeed. So, um, really and now, now we're stuff. actually. This is this is kind of already getting up to the point where I think we need to move this code to a uh, wrap root element call. Yeah, I agree, right? If we, if we wanted to just make a query in here. I don't know if that would work. Right, because we're, we're this this hook is taking place outside of the scope of the Apollo provider. Oof, so, no good. Um, that's right, so let's, to, to, I mean, we can, we can basically just move this to a- um, New file, right? A new file, I'm just gonna create uh, Gatsby SSR. There's like gonna be it. two files that that uh, that we're gonna be creating here. Yeah, the that's first right. is Gatsby I forgot SSR. I forgot and I'm just gonna that. copy everything in here. Let's do it. And put it over here. Do you see Gatsby SSR? Oh yeah, you do. Okay. I do, cool. but I have to switch the tab. There we go. I don't know why it didn't go with you. <laughs> all right, all right. So, um, so a lot of this stuff remains the same. We're just going to change a few different things here instead yeah. of exporting a def exporting having a default export that is a react component we're going to export a function uh yep we're going to export a function called wrap root element this is a gatsby api that is just a, a function that returns um it, it it takes uh it gives you an, an object as properties and you get an element you or you can destructure an element property from there yeah and that's what we wrap with our apollo provider i like and, it and that's really it prettier has my back thank goodness okay okay um and that that's that's pretty much all we need with one little minor exception this is not going to work uh in ssr as it is because right by default we use uh apollo apollo client uses the browser fetch implementation 
yeah. which doesn't exist on the server. So we're going to need to install another package. Yeah, that's it? right. Okay. Add another I'm... terminal window. Exactly. Oh, there you already you did that. Nice. Oh, yeah, I got you. And then we're going to yarn add isomorphic fetch, right? You got it. That's it. Isomorphic fetch. Yeah. Mm hmm. Cool. So, cool. Um, let's see what we need to do here. Okay, so I can't see where you are. Where are you at right now? Uh, oh yeah, sorry. I'm I'm just whip, whipping around in my browser. I just wanted to double ah. check where, um, where we apply the fetch option, whether it's on the link or whether it's on the. Um, um, I have always just imported it, and then it makes fetch available. Oh, I see. Um, because it, it adds it as a global. I see. Yeah, I suppose we could do that. Um, oh, I didn't I've know there was a configuration it. option. That's cool. I'd rather see yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, let's let's do that. Yeah, that's much so, better. Now I feel like an amateur. Fetch. Yeah. Um, I suppose we would apply it there. I'm just looking at one of my past projects to make sure that we got this right. Yeah, so fetch is an option on the HTTP link. Ah, so interesting. So what, what I would do here is say import fetch from isomorphic fetch. And then just pass that as the fetch option to my HTTP okay. link. I like it. I like it. Nice. Um, so now that we have our wrap, wrap root element call created for the... Um, for the SSR flow, what we yeah. also need to do is wrap the root element of uh, of our app for the browser the context browser. as well. Okay, yeah, that makes so sense. So to do that, I just do a copy of SSR and rename it Gatsby Browser. And I mean, this Rem would this would work fine as well, but, but we're gonna remove I think that we can batch. be a little bit more succinct. What we want to say is like import wrap root element from oh. the file Gatsby SSR and then export basically like export const what you import wrap root right and equals wrap root element but this even this seems uh oh yeah here can't we go. you this, do this, um, this seems unnecessary what we can do just to to bypass all that is just say export export right yeah wrap root element from Gatsby SSR yeah that's perfect cool that's nice. So that should be all we need to, to get our app wrapped in a gas in an Apollo provider. And now yeah. that means that um, yeah, I think you're you're one step ahead of me. We're gonna, We're gonna um, clean this up. Remove all this stuff from here. I got it. Here we go. I'm gonna take care of it. Let's Boom. Do it. And then we're gonna get rid of this. Goodbye. And we're gonna get rid of this. Goodbye. And now we actually want to make Bye a 